Hey there, Rockstar SLPs. I wanted to show you how you can use the Cami Chrome extension and a YouTube video to work on building sentences in your teletherapy sessions that aren't just necessarily worksheets to make it a little bit more engaging for your older students. And this is an activity that I have used to do in person. I love Simon's cat videos and I would often use them to cover so many goals. I would use them with younger kids and older kids. And one of the ways that I would start to work on building more complex sentences with some of my students is using my free sentence structure graphic or organizer and breaking down what adjectives look like, what nouns look like, and verbs and adverbs and prepositions. And then once we would generate all the words we could think of from seeing the video, we would then work on creating more complex sentences. And this gave the kids a framework for how to build sentences. And it was in the kids liked it. So it's, it's a funny video, right? So I have some of these filled out. So if you go to the Cami Chrome extension, you're going to download the Cami uh, Chrome extension, and then it's going to be up here where the puzzle is and you're going to click on it and then you're able to upload PDFs that you would maybe pr normally print out. Then I adjusted these two window browsers so that way when I share my whole screen, the students can still see the video and the sentence frame together. You can also use the Chrome extension um, Duelist right here, and, and that will, you know, split up your screens, but I just did it manually. Um, and so when you have two browsers, you just take one, you know, I can drag this one over here, but I can also take it away <laughs> and oopsie, let's get this back. I had it all perfect. Um, I can take it like this and I can take this browser and just manually do it. But if you use the Duelist Chrome extension, you might be able to do it a little bit seamless, more seamlessly and quicker. And so now we have the two screens here and I want you to be able to see the tools. So I have the tab up for the graphic organizer. And what we do is, you know, I let the kids watch a little bit of the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then I'll pause it after about, you know, 30 seconds. They don't always like that. So sometimes I'll let them watch it all the way through. But I also want, I'm also working on inferencing skills and other things. So it just depends on the group. But I would say scary. We could describe the spider, you know, the, the scary spider. Um, creepy spider, <laughs> you know, small spider. And then we would talk about, we would add, so I'm on text box here and I'm just inserting text boxes and I'd have the kids tell me what they see the cat doing. Well, the cat was jumping. Um, it's catching the spider. The man is looking. So we could say the young man is looking worried, worriedly. <laughs> I think that's an adverb. <laughs> At the spider. Um, okay. And then, so once we start generating some of those things, we continue to watch the video. So then the cat is pointing, well, pu he was also puking, pointing, the man was petting him, petting the cat. Um, puking it on the carpet. So this is when you think about your, your, pre you know, your prepositional phrases, what were they seeing? So now the spider is going to do something. I hate spiders. 
So now we already have, do we have crawling? No, we don't have crawling. Let's add crawling. He's crawling slowly. Up the man's leg. Okay, so as you're continuing to watch it with the students, you can work on other skills like inferencing WH questions, but you're going to continue to watch the video. And then sometimes what I will do is I will let them watch the whole video and I will give them a job. Like I want you to think, look for all the verbs, all the actions that are happening. happening. And so sometimes I will let them watch the whole video because it's so short and they kind of get annoyed if they don't get to see what happens in the end. And that might be you guys. <laughs> you might have to go watch this video on your own um, and then at the after that we will start to brainstorm and then I will say okay now we're gonna watch the video again and that's when I will pause every 30 seconds and we'll really focus on like adjectives nouns adverbs prepositional phrases and then once the video is done I will have the kids go around and create um, you know some sentences so we could say the creepy spider is crawling slowly up the man's leg and then on the next page this is another type version if you wanted to do it this way you could then type the sentences that the kids oops why didn't I do that huh well, maybe I don't, I don't know why it's not letting me Oh, there it goes. You know, then you could have them write out the sentences as well. So this is just a fun way to begin to work on building more complex sentences. It takes the, the spelling fears away because you're typing it for the kids and they're building, look how much language they're building. So this is, the Kami tool is really cool for that. If you're, you know, you can definitely do this on Zoom, but if you have Google Meets and, and sometimes even on Zoom, I just like having it in Kami and I'll do it because I can keep all my materials, you know, in Cami, it'll store it. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and feel free to ask for more tutorials that you may need to see on how you can use some of the materials you're already, you would use in person digitally. So I highly recommend using Cami with your, your PDFs that you like to print out and then pair them with some of your favorite YouTube videos. And Simon's Cat is definitely one of my my favorite go-to videos. All right. I hope everyone has a great week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And remember, you're doing the best you can. Take small steps and take small little action steps. And eventually one day you'll wake up and you're going to go, I'm not too mad at this technology thing. So I hope you have a great week. Again, be the SLP that every kid wants to see. And as always, you guys are the rock star SLPs serving your students as best you can with what you got. And um, you should be proud of that. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.